Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm super excited you're here with me today. I'm gonna paint a chickadee. The reference photo is on pixabay.com. It's the first one linked in this video's description. But I cloned the chickadee in Photoshop and I think I'll make it two hugging friends. Isn't that fun? I'm gonna paint it on a five inch by seven inch canvas from Michaels inch and a half thick. Okay guys, let's have some fun. We better set the table. So I've got a General's charcoal pencil that I drew the birds on with. I kind of estimated where I wanted the egg shape to go. And then I kind of put a, an oval this way for the head on them. And I changed the direction of the oval. And then I figured kind of beak and eyes. This one's looking up, this one's looking more this way. And I, you know, I did have a better tail drawn here by painted over it. <laughs> this is a leaf here. Okay, I think that's that. Oh, I did gesso my canvas with some clear gesso. Just because it feels thin and not very strong. So that'll help stiffen it up, give it a little more thickness. I let the, the clear gesso dry before I started painting. I'm using bright aqua green. It's a really fun color out of the tube. Burnt umber, I need to buy more burnt umber. I'm almost out and it really seems dry. So that's burnt umber, titanium white, and Mars black. And I just mixed, so when you put a little burnt umber in the bright aqua green, it gets a little greener and a little more muted, a little more dull. And then I put a little bit more brown in it, it goes a little greener and grayer, which is fun. Oh, I did put out cad yellow also. They're all Liquitex. Just thinking I might need a little more warm than the burnt umber. Oh, and then the brush, it's fairly thick. Can you see that? It's a number 12 from Royal and Lane Nicholas, their Zen line. Um, I did that because I wanted to put on, the first coat always takes more paint because the canvas and the gesso are soaking it up. I see a few places where the canvas is popping through, but I don't know if it actually matters because I may end up with bits of white anyway. But I'm just kind of thinking patchwork. Oh, and then also I didn't lighten up my charcoal pencil, so I'm letting it bleed into the background and see if I like that. I'm trying to loosen up, or I am loosening up, and just challenging things like, I don't like how messy that is. <laughs> I don't know if you're like that. You can let me know in the comments. So I'm trying to speed up and loosen up, because a lot of times speed will help you be looser. Sometimes it can make a mess too, though. I mean, you can go just as fast as you can. See, now I'm going slower and playing with it. It's totally okay to slow down too. Okay, guys, I'll be back tomorrow.
okay, let's chat for a couple minutes. This is the next day. I smoothed out the background a little bit and now I'm thinking I might put more detail in. I'll know better when I get the birds done. I'm putting in blue grays and browns, leaving the eyes black. I think I wanna put a little white around part, uh, part of the eyes and then kinda of try and see if I can hint at a highlight. Painted a little bit of the side of the beak. I think, here, maybe we'll just do it. Is my color drying? I'm thinking like a little, I don't know if that's gonna be light enough. Like tip on the point there. You're looking underneath the beaks, putting in some shadows, the branch. Here, let's do a close up. Probably should put in the leaves too. The branch goes over on the sides. So I mixed just a little bit of bright aqua green and yellow and makes this pretty light and limey green. Pulled some of that over and some yellow, I can't remember exactly, and some yellow and just put a pinch of black in it and it makes more of a sage green. Okay guys, I think that gets us up to speed. Oh, here, I wanted to show you, I'm painting two at once because I need to get to build up my inventory. And so I drew a version of this bird on a five by five inch cradled wood panel. And just, I think this is even cuter. You know, it's, that's why artists do series. I really should. But a lot of times YouTube, you don't get the views if you do chickadee after chickadee after chickadee painting. Um, but I think this one is already gonna be cuter because I'm getting the shapes down a little bit better. Uh, this is straight up bright aqua green on the wood and it goes a little warmer because the wood comes through the color a little bit okay guys i'll be back in a bit Hey friends, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I went for much looser. Okay, check. I, I definitely did that. I like that I build up the color on the birds and then use the white the least. I like, well, here, let's back up. I like that they're just like a circle. And here, let's, let's point with something else here. I mean, you can, like, it's not even a, a, a smooth circle, but I've got a circle and I've got an oval. And then I have a triangle for the underneath of the beak and I just kind of lined it a little bit. So this circle is a little taller and an oval. So I really like that. You saw me draw it on in a time lapse. Oh, I can maybe, I think I'll just leave the feet alone. I like these feet better than this one. And this one I shortened because it just didn't look quite right. I think the colors are pretty. When I first first put on the orange, it's, it's drying down just a little bit. 
I like it. I think that's only here. Well, the reason I did it is because I was looking at my reference photo. Here, let's get that out. And so I was also like, I forgot that I didn't, I just started drawing these and they're looking at each other. I could maybe paint this again and have them looking more at each other. I, I just got, I got involved with a circle and a circle. And then I remember I um, just said, okay, this one's gonna be looking this way. So they're looking in. So I drew that line more like that. And then this one kind of leans more like this. <laughs> the eyes work. You know, they're just, here, maybe we need to do a tour. So this is a little five by uh, seven inch canvas. You can see the canvas texture. But I, you know, I originally put in black dots and then kind of broke up the line around the dot, put in a soft highlight. I think that works. I'm not sure if I like the hint of leaves or whatever. I like that the sun's kind of catching. I could put like a little yellow too. Oh boy. Oh, here, let's, before, before I forget, so I used a little round, I don't think I mentioned my brush, it's two over zero from US Art Supply. This one I got real in a pack really cheap on Amazon. It's a number seven, um, like a three eighths inch filbert. Mostly I just grabbed brushes because they were clean or they weren't washed out and really wet. I also used this little craft brush that's about the same size. It didn't really matter to me if it was flat or round, and I used this angle. It's a 3 8 inch from uh, Royal and Lane Nickel. And then I used a number four round just when I wanted like the dots on the eyes because I can get it to point. Okay. You know, we could, I don't know. You can overthink it and keep playing. Because I had this darker, but I'm like, oh, well, the beak would be the darkest, and maybe that might look better if it's not quite so solid. You know, put some background color in the bird. And then I kind of warmed it up a little bit. Just want to make sure the bird looks solid. I really like, it's almost like an oil painting. You know, I smeared so you see the texture, but then I've got like just sort of, I came back with some blue and just kind of pushed the hint of the leaves back. And then added some almost, it's like straight up phthalo, or no, bright aqua green and white and just you know, like one stroke is a little darker than two or three strokes. Because I get more coverage. So I think what I need to do is like, so this is the next day, which I didn't mention. I don't know how many hours I have into this. Even though it's looser, I kept going slower and slower. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I've got some yellow there. Kind of reinforce it, maybe. My son is on this left side. I don't know if you can hear Freckles meowing for me. <laughs> she sounds sad. Okay, guys. I think that does the comments. We'll do a screenshot. Let me know what you think. It's definitely looser, which was my main goal. And then I drew it on so it'd be looser. So I think that's a win-win. Super, super appreciate you hanging out with me. It is so fun for me. YouTube has just been the best place to connect with creative people like you. Um, your support, if I didn't just say it, means the world to me. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.